Hi everyone, Dr. Nemechek here. I want to discuss a case we have, very interesting, of a young lady with rather severe POTS, uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Uh, you know, she was trying to go to college, she could barely uh, get through a class. It was very, very difficult. So we started on our, our basic protocol of fish oil and olive oil, twice a day refaxman and a vagus nerve simulator. And we had some improvements. I mean, she was able to do better in class and things like that. She still had a lot of accommodation issues that she needed to, to get through all of that, but improved, but far stretch from uh, being able to function, say, in a full-time job. And um, so then, uh, and, and she had acquired COVID quite a while ago early in the pandemic. And as I've talked about in the other uh, videos, the COVID causes this unique form of leaky gut. Now, when you have bacterial overgrowth or SIBO, you have these cells together and you get leak between the cells, okay? And that'll trigger inflammation. What happens with COVID is they've shown that in some people, not everybody, but in some people, clusters of cells will die and it leaves you with a relatively uh, massive hole from a molecular viewpoint for stuff to flow into the body and trigger inflammation. And the glutamine can help that part. So we had her on Rifaximin to treat the bacteria for the leaky part like that. And we didn't recognize, didn't know this was happening in COVID till uh, late last spring uh, with some new data that was published. Uh, we started her on glutamine and in about six months, she's now close to normal. She's going to do a lot. She drove, her parents moved. She drove all the way across the country by herself on a car, just sitting there still, regulating blood pressure, all that. Impossible before. Okay? So this girl had two forms of leaky gut. That from bacteria, which was very common prior to pandemic, and now from a glutamine deficiency state created by COVID and the high inflammation. And that is responding very nicely with her to glutamine. And so uh, we use a uh, we use a level tablespoon twice a day for that. So hope that's helpful to y'all. Everybody have a good day.